There's a function in the A7 III that not many people know about or not many people have explored, and it's called the Register Custom Shoot Set. Now, if you do know about this, you've either watched lots of videos on the A7 III or you've read the manual. But if you haven't, keep watching. It's basically a way of having a group of settings that you can access instantly at the push of a button. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had loads of situations where I've been shooting, say in manual mode or in single shot, and then something really interesting or some action has happened, and then you're fiddling with the settings instead of actually capturing that thing that's happening in front of you. With this function turned on, I seem to get a lot more of these shots and a lot more of these kind of serendipitous moments. In this reconstruction, I'm photographing these palm trees and buildings badly, and I'm in manual mode, single shot, AFS. I see a skateboarder in the corner of my eye, so quickly press AEL, get her in frame, and then get the shot. If I didn't have this function enabled, I'd have definitely missed these shots. So this is how I set up Register Custom Shoot Set. Go to tab one, four of 14. Select Register Custom Shoot Set. You have three slots to fill, but you'll have to assign them to different custom buttons. So I just set one. Click Recall Custom Hold 1. And then set your settings to whatever you want. So this is basically a way of setting your camera into a semi-automatic mode just at the push of a button. You don't even have to turn your top dial. You press the button and it's ready to go. And if you don't want to change all of the settings in this list, just uncheck the ones you want to leave alone. I set it to aperture priority, anywhere between f2 and f8, more f8 if it's in the middle of the day, f2 if it's low light. I put my drive mode on continuous. I'll set the exposure compensation to minus 0.7. I just like underexposing my shots just slightly. With ISO, I'll set it to auto. With metering mode, I'll keep it on multi. With a focus mode, I'll keep it on continuous autofocus and I'll have the focus area set on wide, and then I'll have autofocus on set to on. After putting in the settings, you want to click register so it saves your settings to the custom hold slot. Alternatively, you can put your settings to what you want in camera, like I have here, then go to register custom hold set, select your slot, scroll to the bottom and select import current setting, then select by pressing enter, then register. Next, you need to register it to a custom button. So go to tab two, page eight of nine, and select photo custom key. I've put it on the AEL button. You can put it to wherever you want. Select your assigned button, find recall custom hold one, page two of 23, and select it. Then scroll to the bottom and click register. Now it is set to the AEL button. Just remember to set ISO auto minimum shutter speed to whatever focal length you're shooting with. This is only if you're shooting handheld, but these moments tend to happen when you're shooting handheld. When my wife and I go traveling, I find that this comes in really handy. We may be walking somewhere that we haven't been before, and a fleeting moment happens really quickly in front of us. I might be shooting something static, and then all of a sudden I can press the AEL button and I'm ready to go. It's auto-focusing on that thing that's going past, and I can quickly fire off a lot of shots and it's the difference between getting the shot and not getting the shot. Now, have you heard of Register Custom Shoot Set? Leave a comment below. It'll be interesting to see how many of you know about it and how many of you don't. For more videos, subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. Also, head over to my YouTube channel where I have a growing library of photography and videography tutorials. I'll see you next time.